Ever since 2017, when the Mini Racers line was introduced, standard operating procedure was to take the Mini and compare it to the 155 scale diecast. I mean, it just makes sense, right? You could see how well they translated the details over to the Mini in a much smaller scale. It was fun. Yeah, we don't really do that anymore because, well, the Mini Racers come out with the new stuff before the 155 scale diecast. Nine times out of ten these days. I mean, here we have Road Rumbler McQueen. Yeah, we got the color changer version, but it's not nearly as detailed as the Mini. Chiefdis, who came out in that last batch of singles I reviewed last month. Yeah, we still don't have the diecast for her. Deputy McQueen just barely squeaked out before the Mini. Here we have President Mater. Again, the color changer version. Okay. But still no 155 scale diecast. Now, thankfully, Jeff Gorvette, who came out in 2011, about, what is that now, 12 years before the Mini, yeah, we can do him. But it's just wild how crazy fast the Mini racers are coming out, especially for cars on the road. And it really is exciting because, you know, it gives us a taste of some of these cool characters and just variants of the main characters before the 155 scale version gives us something to look forward to so yeah guys welcome back to another mini racers unboxing video today here we have all of the three packs from case w doesn't really matter honestly what the case letters are at this point this is just the newest three pack case hitting target stores right now i was very fortunate i went to two targets and i got everything i needed the first one had everything except for the rumbler pack and i was like darn it missed it went to the next target bam found one so very very fortunate very happy about that there are two packs in this case that carry over from the last case they aren't new per se but I still picked them up because I like the presentation, especially in this next gen one, which won't sit up on its own. So we're going to lay it down. But yeah, we're going to unbox the new stuff, compare it to what we can, right? We can't do everything, but when the 155s come out, I'll probably compare them then to the minis. You know, it's funny, even Ivy here came out before the diecast, well, well before the diecast. And even hiding over here is the Rumbler Mater. All three of these have not come out as the 155 scale diecast yet. That's insane, but let's take a look here at the packaging. So this one's probably going to be pretty popular. I think this one will obviously be as well, but I really love the look of this set, even though the fact that the normal Ivy is in this pack doesn't really make sense because when you know, this episode occurs, Deputy McQueen, President Mater, the B-movie episode, Ivy is seen in her gold and then like eventually zombie brain dancing paint job. So she never looks like this when she is seen with Deputy McQueen, President Mater. So a little inconsistency would have been cool if they did that version of her. So then you would have gotten yet another new mini, but hey, I'm sure they'll save that for the future and then we'll have to buy this pack all over again just with the new Ivy. But yeah, Deputy McQueen is available as a single in the boxes. Same case as Chief Dis, but obviously those are much more scarce. They're not sold at major retailers like Walmart and Target, only at oddities like Fred Meyer, HEB, Kroger, Fries, etc. President Mater though, this is his first appearance period and he looks really cool. It's weird seeing Mater in that shade of blue. You know, I expect to see like brand new Mater in the teal, but not like that. So really excited to open him up. And they tell you that is the first look by highlighting him on the back, President Mater. There you have Lady McQueen, Deputy Hazard, and you have Ivy, who really looks like metallic Ivy. It's kind of funny. If they ever try and do a metallic Ivy in the future, it's basically what this is. And that on the packaging here looks more like a regular version of her. So maybe in the future, they'll do like metallic ivy and then it'll just be the regular version. So it'll be like flipped. Wouldn't that be kind of funny? Actually, no, that wouldn't be at all. <laughs> here we have the Rumbler pack, the Road Warriors pack as we originally knew it to be. This has a first look at Rumbler McQueen up top there. He looks awesome. I love all the little attachments and obviously same with Mater who we reviewed a while ago because he was in the box wave, the one before Chiefdis and Deputy McQueen. But it's good that Chiefdis is in this case as well. You know, again, gives a lot of people opportunity to get some of these minis that, you know, for the people that don't have a Kroger, H-E-B, Fred Meyer to go to, they can just grab this, 
bam, knocking the bunch out. So very cool. You know, I have never seen really the boxes in stores, you know, at least in the last few years. When I went down to Arizona in February though, I went to a Fry's store and they had the brand new wave. So, you know, for those that have the stores, it's great, but for the vast majority of us, we do not. So this is the next best option. Again, they highlight who's new. The other two are very quote unquote new, just not first look exclusives. I love how the image makes her look kind of like metallic gold. It's really, really nice. She's not quite that shiny, but you know, it's still pretty close. Here we have a pretty standard World Grand Prix set, McQueen, Carla, and brand new Jeff Gorvette. Love the stock image for him, looking great. Look at that massive paragraph of languages for Lay McQueen with racing wheels, just so unnecessary. Just call him like WGP McQueen, call the day. Carla Veloso, who was the exclusive a couple years ago now, I believe, and then they did Raul Cerul. And of course they did Carbon Shoe to the Roki. So I want to start making some predictions. Who will be the next World Grand Prix racer to be released as a mini racer? You know what? I kind of want to just say regular shoot to the Roki and be boring because I totally think that's a possibility. But I'm going to kind of go off the rails a little bit and say Max Schnell. I just, I don't know. I have a little gut feeling it's Max, but it really could be any of them. God knows. Maybe Lewis Hamilton because he's kind of related to Jeff. I don't know. We'll see what happens. All right, and then here is the next gen pack. Kind of cool to see all these together. Kind of an interesting bunch, even though these two were initially released as 155 scale diecast in the infamous next gen racers four pack. Along with Steve LePage and JD McPillar, they became uber rare. And Flip still is, but all of them have been released again. I think Steve now is probably the rarest because his re release was in a multi pack. But yeah, you have Ryan inside Laney up top there. And yeah, they know none of these are new, so they don't highlight them. So yeah, I won't be opening these up, but it's good to see them all together. Gives another opportunity to people to snag them. This case, or this pack was in the last case, the Tokyo Mater one. Kind of silly in my opinion, because Suki is more of a Cars 2 character than a Tokyo Mayor character. But yeah, you have Dragon Lane McQueen, you have Tokyo Mater. Very nice. I love these guys, but you know, they aren't new. And yep, Suki was the new one in this pack, although now she is second rate to the other three packs because those actually are new to this case, where Suki is just a carryover. But yeah, good stuff. Won't be opening up her. I got her and reviewed her in the last unboxing. She was, again, like the only one I was able to compare to the 155 scale diecast because, <laughs> like I said, you know, the West Philanapis diecast wasn't out, you know, and that's coming. We know that is on the horizon. We don't have the clown. Who else was in that one? You know, you had the clown, Chiefess, of course, Deputy McQueen. Yeah, I think there was one more I'm forgetting. But yeah, guys, I'll be right back with these packs all just torn the shreds open. All right, we got the whole squad opened up. Those open very nice and easily. Sometimes the mini packs kind of come off bad, you know, and then you have to tear into the cardboard to get to the blister. Those super clean, loved it, enjoyed it. It felt good. Let's get into it first with Jeff Gorvet. I don't know. I don't want to say he's my least favorite of the bunch because he probably shouldn't be. Like, this is a really good mini. It's great to get a character that everyone kind of knows, kind of iconic, spoke, you know, has some speaking lines and based on a real life person. So yeah, this really shouldn't be the least favorite, but he's up against some stiff competition. And I do love the expression. It's kind of like his 155 scale expression, but with a smile instead of the just absolute, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. The scowl, the growl, whatever it may be that he's had for the last 12, 13 years. But yeah, it's like he's got a little smile now. I like it. Got the Corvette logo there on his hood. Love it. Looks so clear, I must say, for being a mini. These are like 111th or 118th scale, something like that. So it's really impressive to see how they translate it all over. But yeah, the rims look good there. Of course, he's got the American flag detail decal 
the 24 on top of the American flag emblem and the World Grand Prix logo. That gets a little blurry. Of course, it should say, you know, World Grand Prix all in all there. I could see it, but it is super blurry. Again, that is like very, very small. So I get it. I totally get it. He's got the plastic spoiler, which looks a little tall, honestly, for the Mini. It doesn't look quite in proportion. I think it should be a little flatter, maybe a little longer. I don't know. It just looks a little tall, but no big deal for real. That's really nitpicky. The decals on the back here look really good. World Grand Prix, powered by all in all, 24 American flag, Corvette logo. Love the taillights. Very cool, very iconic to a Corvette. What we got here, S08, so the eighth week of 2023 is when this was made. Pretty late, yeah, that was like the last week of February, first week of March when this guy was born. I could still smell the factory on them. But yeah, really nice. Definitely should not be my least favorite out of these three, but we'll see what happens. It probably you know end up being you know one of my favorite mini racers from Cars Two that they've done. Like I really do like him. You know, don't get me wrong, this is a great mini. But I have to say, you know, Mattel does a good job on almost all the minis. It's very rare that I see one. I'm like, this is man, this is not good. This is not it. Just want to real quick show Carlo Veloso here. This is my original one. And they do look identical. Not that too many people care about variants within the mini racer realm. I know they're out there, but it's like, ah, got enough variants in the 155 scale. I can't start thinking about mini racer variants. And they're probably super minimal if they are any anyways, you know. So, yeah, there you have it. This is also another great mini as well. So, it's hard to even say, like, who's my favorite between the World Grand Prix racers they've done. Because I also really do like... You know, Francesco and Raul. So we'll show all the minis, World Grand Prix racers at the end. Here is the McQueen that came in the set, which is also another really cool looking mini. Although it looks like the one that was in that pack came with a chip spoiler. You guys see that there? Right there above my finger tip. Yeah, that kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. All right. Moving right along. We're going to go over here. Here's Ivy, guys. Again, very metallic-y, still don't understand to this day why they did her like this and just didn't do her normal because it looks like the stock image on the package is normal. So, I don't know. Reviewed this one a while back. A little squeaky. <laughs> that is very squeaky. I do have to say this isn't like my favorite looking mini racer of all time. I don't know why. I can't put my finger on something that they should have done better. I just, I don't know. It doesn't really vibe with me. Side view mirrors, the light bar up here. It doesn't all mesh. Maybe it's because she is metallic. And it's done sit well with me. Done sit well. So, I don't know. She's okay. Here's Deputy McQueen, the new one here. Here's the original one, which is you know also very, very new. Wonder when these guys were made. I'm going to take a guess. You know, I totally forgot when the original one was made. I don't remember that kind of stuff. So I'm going to assume this one was S08, just like Jeff was. And I'm going to take a gander that the one that I reviewed last month was probably like S03 or something like that. All right, so S08. Interesting stamp font there. Oh, wow, look at that. Bam. I'm telling you guys, I promise I did not remember that. That was a complete guess, educated guess. Yeah. Good stuff. Might sell the extra one here to a friend. Although, yeah, that one looks a little rough on the edge right there. A little interesting. I do like the expression on this Deputy McQueen a lot. Light bar looks cool. Decals, okay. Nothing to write home about. But it's so interesting seeing you know, McQueen and Mater in all these wild paint jobs and costumes. You know, seeing Mater like this <laughs> before Cars on the Road came out would have been, you know, video game-ish, custom, random. Like, <laughs> I don't want to get into politics, but, you know, there are people who took, like, the presence of recent years, made them into cars. Like, that is where this would have fallen into. 
if we had no contacts from cars on the road. But yeah, President Mater here looks awesome. I think they really nailed the color. It's a really nice, interesting blue. Not necessarily a sky blue, not a regular blue, but yeah, probably closer to a sky blue. The decal looks pretty solid, all things considered. President of the United States, and you have the coat of arms. Both sides, the yellow stripes looking good, the gray rims. Expression's okay. Again, nothing to call home about, I would say. Got the gray towing cables. A113 license plate, awesome. Now, <laughs> I did you know, want to compare him to the color changer version, but can we first admit that this thing looks like it's 25 years old? even though it's only two, three months old. I mean, the color changers are known to kind of chip because of the paint or, you know, just how kind of cheaply they're made. I mean, they're supposed to color change, right? So they kind of forget everything else. But God damn, this looks like crap. I'm sorry, guys. Got to go on a little rant here. I mean, just look at the rough edges there. It looks like it's been weathered outside. I mean, it's I know that's not necessarily a chip. It's just kind of how the edges end up from the color changing. I mean, it just looks horrible. This angle looks pretty good. Everything on the back looks okay. I mean, the roof just looks horrible to me. I mean, all that. Ugh. Not good. Not good. But yeah, this is a much darker blue and much more inaccurate. So... Hopefully we get a 155 scale die cast soon, but for now the Mini Racer is definitely my favorite over the Color Changer one here. Even though I guess it's not necessarily its fault, just this one in particular just did not end up <laughs> lasting too long. I like the silver wheels on the Color Changer one a lot though, and the expression's pretty good as well. So yeah, there is that. Moving right along to the Rumbler pack. Here is Road Rumbler Mater. So now they are going to do a 155 scale diecast of him very soon. This is the original one from the mini boxes. Great mini. You can feel the dots. You know, they're very textured on the sides here. Some of them, I'm not sure if you guys can see. Actually, yeah, you got to be careful. That one is chipped. They kind of chip easily from what I've noticed and some with other people's as well. Like the mini racer chips kind of sneak up on you a little bit. You're like, oh, everything's good. And then bam, absolutely scratched. Yeah, he's got the little mace in the back here. Everything looks pretty much the same. You got the flamethrower up top. Let's focus in, guys. The horn. Nice. So yeah, if you weren't able to get him earlier, you got another chance. Which Mater is better though? That's the real question. It's like President Mater, it's like the most upstanding version of Mater. And then it's like Outlaw Mater, like the least upstanding version of Mater. <laughs> Apocalyptic Mater versus President Mater. This is like a multiverse type of thing. Like Mater makes one slight decision in his life and he ends up this or this, you know, it's like two paths you could take. It's called destiny, fate. What decision will Mater make? Will he tip that tractor or will he tip that other tractor? He'll become president, one tractor, or he'll become an apocalyptic outlaw if he tips the other one. Actually, we're not going to get to you yet. We got to get to Chiefess. So here we have her. Cannot wait for the diecast version of her. Here is the... One that came out of the boxes. I do have to say, right off the bat, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but this part here looks lighter than this part, the back. You know, they are painted in like a gradient. Yeah, actually, there's a pretty notable variant here. This is way more consistent. The three-pack one, just a consistent kind of goldish yellow all throughout, whereas the box one had a gradient. Started off kind of a orange, burnt orange, and then faded into like a, Almost <laughs> urine yellow. I'm sorry I had to say it, but that is the best way to explain it. And yeah, that's definitely a very. I mean, look at the two. You know, one's way oranger than the other one. I mean, this is the best angle. That's pretty interesting. Wasn't thinking I'd explain. 
explore and find a variant like that. But definitely something worth noting here for the Chiefess. You guys let me know if you have Chiefess and let me know which version of her you got and which one of mine does it look most closely to because who knows maybe mine's not a good representation of all of the boxes and all the three packs maybe they're kind of mixed up who knows but yeah all in all a great release kind of like mater got the texture of the dots on the hood there and also kind of scattered here in the back and then you have the plastic headpiece here which is really cool got the gem there in the middle just a beast of a character and so excited, like I said, for the 155 scale version. Wonder if they'll make the headdress kind of like how they made the Dinoco Showgirls headdress. Like it kind of gives me that same type of vibe, that like plastic that you can kind of bend and whatnot. So yeah, Chief this variant. Keep that in mind, guys. And last but not least on the day is Row the Rumbler Lightning McQueen. Man, this might be my favorite mini. I love the expression. It just looks so honest. He's like, I don't know what I'm doing here, but I'm just happy to be here. That's not really how he was in the <laughs> episode. Maybe more toward the end, you know, when they're all getting drinks with Jeremy in the gas station. But yeah, I do like the expression. It just looks very legit. Like, I'm not a big fan of that Mater's expression. But overall, I mean, the Chief just has a good expression. I don't think Francesco Bernoulli has the best of expressions. That just looks a little creepy. But yeah, this is a good expression. And let's see how well they nailed all of his details. So he's got some dirt detailing around the add-ons. That's awesome, realistic, because he's you know literally out in the desert. <clears throat> Excuse me. I like how he's got the gray center to the red wheels there. Light your tires. Now these side-on, like the add-on pieces are plastic, except for the hood piece and the spoiler. Everything else is plastic, whereas the mini itself is metal so it's kind of interesting how they were able to coat it like this i wonder if you dug or if you like drilled the rivet out you'd be able to separate the mini itself from this plastic kind of shell that'd be pretty cool actually to get an unspun version of this but yeah i love the dirt detailing up front you got the shovel beard and this plastic piece is textured you can feel all the bolts in it man that's awesome the mohawk looks good Spoiler, of course. Very cool. The extra bumper back here with the spikes. More dirt detailing. SO8. You got the exhaust pipes popping out. This is a really well made mini. And it really puts the Disney store to shame that they were able to do Rumbler McQueen, Rumbler Mater so, so well. And the Disney store, you know, in a much larger scale, just absolutely really failed at it. So, yeah, guys, let me know in the comment section below out of these, which one is your favorite? I think I am going to go with Rumbler McQueen, but Jeff Corvette is number two. I do have to say I like him more than President Mater. I don't know why. I just, Jeff has a really nice feel to him. I'm also a huge Corvette fan. Some of you guys might know why, but yeah. These three are your newest mini racers to be added to the line. A great little set, very diverse. You know, you get a Mater, you get a McQueen, and then you also get an iconic character not from Cars on the Road, which is needed because so much of what's coming out right now, whether it be color changers, minis, regular, etc., it's all Cars on the Road, right? So this put a little splash, a little flavor or something else in there is super important to keep everyone happy. You know, you keep the cars on the road people, you know, the people like me who are just buying, you know, all the new stuff want to see that new stuff, but also, you know, the people who prefer some of the older stuff, right? You know, that's why it's so important to keep pulling from cars one, two, three and the tunes. Mattel knows that they're doing it all. You know, of course you have Tokyo Mater back there. They have the car string next gen. So very happy with what Mattel has been doing this year, I must say. And yeah, I did promise you guys a little shot of all the World Grand Prix racers they've done so far. Of course, Raul was the last one they did before Jeff. So we got five. I think that leaves like six more to go, not counting those Super Chase International ones. My guess would be either, well, I guess you can count the Carbon Racer shoe as well. I think they'll either do regular shoe to the Roki 
or they will do actually yeah <laughs> yeah i think regular shoot to the roki maybe max now but they seem to be doing these kind of on like a one and a half per year basis all right guys thanks as always for watching this video let me know in the comments what is your favorite out of these three really tough call but i think i'm gonna have to go with rumbler mcqueen just trying to be as unbiased and objective as possible they just did a great job with him president mater not really much room to screw up so i guess that's maybe why he's a little lower for today all right guys as always appreciate your support and love i will see you soon for another video bye now